Java for Beginners. This is the first of a 10 part tutorial on Java for Beginners. What is Java? You probably already know that Java is a programming language. It is just another programming language. So what is special about it? Java contains extensive libraries. When you install Java or JDK, it comes with approximately 2500 classes that can be used to do variety of things. You can use Java to create web applications. You can also use it to create desktop applications. Superficially it looks like C++. Inside it is more like Smalltalk. You do not need to know either C++ or Smalltalk to follow this tutorial. Looking at the history of Java, it has been around for a while, originally developed at Sun Microsystems in 1991. They wanted to develop a programming language for small devices like TVs, VCRs, toasters, ovens, etc. And their goal was to make a portable small programming language. Originally, the language was known as OAK. It was released as Java in 1995. When Java was first released, its developers wrote a paper, a white paper, justifying a new programming language. You know, why do we need to learn a new programming language? And in that white paper, they described Java as simple, object-oriented, distributed, interpreted, robust, secure, architectural neutral, portable, high performance, multi-threaded and dynamic language. So let me go through some of these qualifiers and uh, try to give you my opinion or to what extent these qualifiers correctly describe the programming language. The first one, Java is simple. I agree with that. Java is definitely a simple programming language. It is definitely easy to get started with it. It offers all the functionality of C++ minus the rarely used confusing features of C++. The number of language constructs is small compared to most other programming languages. And they decided to remove some of the features of C++ like pointers, structs, type defs and define. So Java doesn't have pointers, not the way they are implemented in C++ at least. There is no need to free memory. If you want to create an object in Java, go ahead and do so. When you are done with it, you can just forget about it. There is no need to worry about removing that object from memory. And Java does not support multiple inheritance. I believe the only major programming language that supports multiple inheritance is C++. And they found, based on the research that they did, that by removing these features, it cuts down, it may cut down 50% of the most common bugs that occur in C++. Java is object-oriented. Java is a purely object-oriented programming language, unlike C++ which only supports object orientation. Java is considered a distributed programming language. It has extensive support for TCP IP and networking capabilities. It also contains library routines for HTTP, FTP protocols. Java is an interpreted programming language. And because of that, it can easily run on different platforms. So you could build a Java program, a Java application, you can compile it on Windows and you can take the compiled file, the compiled code and be able to run it on Linux or Macintosh. Java compiler produce bytecode and the bytecode runs on Java virtual machine or Java runtime which is available for a variety of operating systems. Java provides array bounds checking, exception handling, and bytecode verification. All of these features make 
Java very robust. Java is also secure. It's a very secure programming language. It does not have any low level functions. File access can be programmatically restricted and when you run the code the interpreter verifies the bytecode and these features make Java program secure. Java is also portable. All you need all you need to port is the interpreter Java runtime which is available on a variety of operating systems. Currently Windows, uh, Macintosh, Unix etc. Java is also multi-threaded. Threads are built into the Java language and are a lot easier to use than in C++. So how could you develop applications using Java? Well, you need some computer, Windows, Mac, Linux or Unix. You can go to java.sun.com and download the JDK. The installation, the downloading, installation and configuration of the JDK is covered in the next tutorial. Thank you.